how are you all doing today so your girl is back again with another video and today we are going to be talking about business because i want us to grow together i want you guys to be able to run your business without worries and especially around this pandemic time because I mean, we are all going through a lot, isn't it? So if you have not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and let's start this video together. Let's talk about business. We were all hit by this pandemic and most people lost their jobs and they are now doing side hustles. We call them side hustles, but no, we are not going to be calling ourselves side hustlers. We are entrepreneurs, okay? So I would just want to mentor you and tell you on how I was able to post my businesses online and which platform works better. Why do people fear advertising their businesses online? Why? Most people have got these social media platforms, but they don't like advertising their businesses. Is it because they don't want to be known? Is it because they are hiding something? I never understand. But uh, most people also say they don't want to be so silly. They don't want to be appearing, you know, every time selling. Why not? Like, when you take that coffee in the morning, go around posting, I bought this coffee from Art Cafe or wherever, you are advertising their business. You put on a hoodie like this or a good outfit, you take a photo and then you tag the brands. You are advertising the brands. Why is it so hard to advertise your own brand? Now, come on, let's talk about this. Online business is one of the best business that you can ever do. First of all, you can do it wherever you are. If you treat your social media or Instagram platform as a hobby, it will pay you as a hobby. You treat it as a business platform, it will pay you as business. It's you to choose what you want from your social media. If you want your social, social media platforms to give you money, they will give you money. If you, want, if you want to use them for, hey, hey, they will pay you, hey. Treat your social media platforms as business platforms. So when I started my small business around last year, that is Kitchen Apron. If you have been following me for a while now, you know that I sell kitchen aprons customized kitchen aprons, salon aprons, and if, perhaps if you want some, kindly go straight to my Instagram and follow me and DM me. Tell me what you want. I noticed that my business was booming or doing good because of online. I opened an Instagram page for my business that did not have so many followers, but it served me good. Most people don't advertise their businesses because they think they have a small following. That does not matter. I'm telling you once someone loves your product, they actually go and tell their colleagues, they actually go and tell their family members, my following on Instagram is very small, but the business I do from my Instagram is huge. Sometimes people have got this big, big following and they don't do anything or they cannot sell. What, what is more important with online business is how you engage with your audience. Marketing is a one-to-one -one relationship. When you're addressing your audience, don't, add, don't generalize like you're talking to so many people. Assume that you are talking to one person. Talk to this person. Tell them what you're selling. They are watching, so many people are watching, but just assume you're talking to this one person because marketing is one on one relationship. Build relationship with your customers, with your buyers, with your audience. Be relatable. If perhaps you are advertising about um, a skincare product, be relatable, personalize, tell us. I always talk more about the value that I'm adding, not what I'm selling. Add value. Tell me, how, how did the product work on you? How, how, what was the improvements? Okay, so talk to one on one. It is one to one relationship. This is actually a one tip in marketing that you will always win. When you are relatable, people get to understand you more because they can read your story. They can tell what you're telling them. They can see the value that you're adding in their lives. They can see the value that is added in the brand in the product and that is how people get to reach out to you and buy your product go narrow but deep 
Another point that is very important is multiple platform. Try platforms, but don't try to be everywhere. You can measure on two platforms or three, Facebook, Instagram, or even YouTube or TikTok. Nowadays, people advertise more on TikTok. Don't try to be everywhere. Major on two platforms. Be good on those platforms. Sell your products there and be present every day. I have a very small following, as I told you, but I engage a lot with my audience. Please use your Insta stories. Insta stories sell so much better because I can talk to you. I can tell you, oh, this product did this. Oh, when you try my kitchen apron, this will happen. But on the feed, you'll just feed. I'll not understand you more. But Insta stories sells much better. That is my experience. And I also engage more with my followers through my Insta stories. I post my Insta stories 1 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. when I wake up before I sleep, I try to engage my audience. I make sure I have posted something each and every day. I might post a lot of things, but I always make sure that after a story, I post a business. After two stories, my business is there. That is how I sell my business on Instagram. I sell more on Instagram than on Facebook. I'm not very good on Facebook, but if you have a huge following on Facebook, why not? Go there and sell your product. Another thing that has helped me a lot is WhatsApp groups. There's a lot of WhatsApp groups here in Kenya. You go to a neighborhood and they ask you, are you already in our WhatsApp group? They add you in those WhatsApp groups for free. Yes, when you sell online, it is for free, not unless you want to sponsor, not unless you want to pay and advertise your product, you know, to bigger audience. But why do that? Just go to these small pages of WhatsApp because you get to post your things there. Your neighbors get to see them and they buy your product from there. So one of the biggest pages that I sell my product is Instagram. I also sell from WhatsApp group, YouTube and Facebook, partially Facebook. And it does magic. I don't need to go outside and start advertising one-on-one -on -one when I have Instagram. I actually go further ahead and WhatsApp my people, like the people that are in my WhatsApp, I go and post each and every product on their page. Go watch, go see this product, see what I'm selling. And I mean, why are you there? You are there because you're on my social media, isn't it? Buy or go tell your, your friends to buy. So selling online is the easiest thing very tricky you have to know your product be in the tone of what you're selling sometimes people sell very good product but they are not in that space have you ever seen people that disconnect they're selling to you but they are disconnected be connected to your clients be connected to your audience those are your customers Online business is the best. You can do it from everywhere. You don't need a shop to sell online products. You can sell from them from wherever you are. I do my business from home and they do well. All I need is to get a good rider or a delivery uh, person who can deliver them after my customers have bought the product. So go online. You'll not regret. You're not going to be paying anyone. And don't be shy. Don't be shy. I hope this video was of good help to you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned because a lot is coming. Bye-bye. Keep safe. Put on your mask and social distance. Bye-bye. See you.